started they put out two documentations and the media could never find out why are people occupying they couldn't understand it so I want to state it to all of us so we all know why we're here today so the first one is principles of solidarity on September 17th 2011 people from all across the United States of America and the world came to protest the blatant injustices of our time perpetuated by the economic and political elites. On the 17th, we as individuals rose and stood up against political disenfranchisement and social and economic injustice. We spoke out, resisted, and successfully occupied Wall Street. Today, we proudly remain in Liberty Square, constituting ourselves as the autonomous political beings engaged in nonviolent civil disobedience and building solidarity based on mutual respect, acceptance, and love. It is from these reclaimed grounds that we say to all Americans and to the world, enough! How many crises does it take? We are the 99% and we have moved to reclaim our mortgage future. Through direct democratic processes, we have come together as individuals and crafted these principles of solidarity, which are points of unity that include, but are not limited to. One, engaging in direct and transparent participatory democracy, which is what we're doing right here, thank goodness. Exercising personal and collective responsibility. That means every single one of you is responsible to give your best. Number three, recognize individual's inherent privilege and influence it has on all interactions. Re number four, empowering one another against all forms of oppression. Going back to our sexism, racism, bigotry. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, number five, redefining how labor is valued. Number six, san sanctity of individual privacy. Number seven, is belief that the education is a human right. And the last one is endeavoring to practice and support wide application of open source, hence our free school. We are daring to imagine a, so so a new social, political, and economic alternative that offers greater possibilities of equality. Now that is the principles of solidarity. That is why there are 2,000 Occupy movements around the world. Now, I'm going on to the Declaration of Occupation, which is, was written the day that they started occupying Wall Street. As we gather together in solidarity to express the feelings of mass injustice, we must not lose sight of what brought us together. We write so that all people who feel wronged by the corporate forces of the world can know that we are allies. As one people united, we acknowledge the reality that the future of the human race requires cooperation of its members, and that our system must protect our rights. And upon corruption of that system, it is up to us as individuals to protect our own rights. And those of, the, of our neighbors, that a democratic government derives its power from the people, but corporations do not seek consent to do not seek consent to extract wealth from the people and the earth. And that no true democracy is attainable when the process is determined by economic power. We come to you at a time when corporations make place prop profit over people, self-interest over justice, oppression over equality, run over governments. We have peaceably assembled here, as is our right to let these facts be known. Number one is they have taken our homes how, in illegal foreclosure processes despite not having the original mortgage. They have taken bailouts from taxpayers with impunity and continue to give exec, uh, executives exorbitant bonuses. 
that perpetuated in inequality and discrimination in the workplace on age, the color of one's skin, sex, gender in identity, and sexual orientation. They have poisoned the food supply through their negligence and undermined the farming systems through monopolization. They have profited off of the torture, confinement, and cruel treatment of countless animals and actively hide these practices. They have continuously sought to strip employees of the right to negotiate for better pay and safer working conditions. They have held students hostage with tens of thousands of dollars in debt on education, which is itself a human right. They have consistently outsourced labor and used that outsourcing as a leverage to cut workers' health care and pay. They have influenced the courts to achieve the same rights as people with none of the culpability or responsibility. They have spent millions of dollars on legal teams that look for ways to get them out of contracts in regards to health insurance. They have sold our privacy as a commodity. They have used the military and police force to prevent freedoms of the press. They have deliberately declined to recall faulty products, endangering lives in pursuit of profit. They determined economic policy and catastrophic failures. And despite the, the catastrophic, catastrophic failures their policies have produced and continue to produce, they have donated large sums of money to politicians who are responsible for regulating them. They continue to block alternative forms of energy to keep us dependent on oil. They continue to block generic forms of medicine that could save people's lives or provide relief in order to protect investments that they have already turned a substantial profit on. They have purposely covered up oil spills, accidents, faulty bookkeeping, and inactive ingredients in pursuit of profit. They have, uh, they have purposely kept people misinformed and fearful through their control of the media. They have accepted private contracts to murder prisoners, even when present with serious doubts about their guilty. They have perpetuated colonialism at home and abroad. They have participated in torture and murder of innocent civilians overseas. They continue to create weapons of mass destruction in order to receive government contracts. To the people of the world, we, the New York City General Assembly, occupying Wall Street and Liberty Square, urge you to assert your power, exercise your right to peacefully assemble, occupy public space, create a process to address the problems we face, and generate solutions accessible to everyone. To all the communities that take action and form groups in the spirit of direct democracy, we offer support, documentation, and all the resources at our disposal. Join us and make your voices heard. Thank you.